Hey everybody, today Rado runs through Yardmaster where we are going to load the train to win the game. Okay, now this is a very, very fast playing little card game that is on Kickstarter right now and I'm going to try and do a run through today so you can get have an idea if you'd be interested in backing it. So I've got it set up as a two player game. Setup's really simple. You just shuffle the heck out of these two decks because this is a set collection game, so cards can clump together. So you want to shuffle them as best you can. And then each player gets, at the beginning of the game, a hand of three cargo. There's Jen, there's mine. They also get an engine, and so we each have our engine. And they also randomly get one of the four exchange rate tokens. So I can exchange two livestock for anything I want. Jen can exchange two oil, and she also, since Jen is the last player, she also is the Yardmaster, which will come into play very soon. And as you can imagine, since it's the name of the game, it's a very, very important token. And then also, three boxcars are laid out. And now, the whole goal of this game is we are Yardmasters, and we it is our job to make sure the right cargo gets loaded into the right car, and then is, low, is hook, hooked up hitched up to an engine so that that cargo can get wherever it needs to go. And we're doing that through very simple hand management stuff. So let's see what I ended up with two oil and a coal. And I'm just going to start going, just jump right into it. I'm the first player. And on your turn, you get to choose from three different actions, ah, I'm wording this wrong. You basically get to take two actions on your turn. And you have three actions to choose from. The three actions are get some more cargo, load your cargo onto a car or swap these tokens. And um, so you can, you, yeah. And in fact, actually, of those three actions, I now know what I'm gonna do. My first turn's gonna be really, really simple. I get two actions, right? My first one is I am gonna swap one of the tokens. Now in a two player game, two of them are over here kind of in a token supply with three or four players. You know, in a four player game, everybody gets a token to begin with. I'm gonna swap a token and I'm actually gonna swap for Jen's oil token. So I'm giving up that uh, my two for one cattle exchange, so I have a two for one oil exchange. Why am I doing that? Because I happen to have two oil. So, my first action was that, and now my second action is I'm gonna load a car. And I'm gonna use, I, I declare that I'm using these two oil. Now, there are no oil cars out, and you would imagine oil has to go into an oil tanker, but I'm gonna exchange these two for one. I'm gonna turn these two oil, at, at basically they become a wild card, they can be anything I want. I'm gonna declare these two oil count as one livestock, and that means I'm gonna load the livestock car. Basically, I assume this means I traded the oil for some livestock with somebody, and then I loaded that livestock into the car. And this, this car required one livestock, which is what I had, because I, I converted these two oils into one livestock, and this scores me one point. I attach it to my engine, and I've, I've scored the first point of the game. Now, this is basically a race to score points, and I, what is it? I think in a two-player game, it's like, is it, yeah, 20 points. In a two-player game, first player to score 20 points wins. And so I'm in the lead, woohoo! Only 19 more to go. We'll see how this goes. Actually, if all goes to plan, I think I might be able to play a, a whole run through this because this is a very, very fast playing game. But anyway, so my first action was I swapped to get the chit I needed, the exchange rate token, and then my second one, I exchanged my oil into cattle and loaded a car. And now whenever a car gets taken, a new one immediately gets placed on the board. And there we go. And so at the end of my turn, I've got one, I've got one coal, which is nice. I need three coal to get that coal car, which, I mean, I need four total. I need three more. If I can do that, that'll be worth four points. <clears throat> so we'll see what happens. Anyway, but that was it for me. Now it's Jen's turn. Let's see, she has two timber and a coal. All right. <clears throat> now, unfortunately, that means with, th with this hand, she cannot get any of these. She's got two timber, but she needs three. So I think the first thing she's gonna do with her two actions is she's gonna draw another card. Let's see what she gets. She's gonna draw a blind and she gets some livestock. That's not great. Um, you know, with two livestock, she could convert that. So she's gonna draw again. Let's see if she gets something else. And a lot of turns you just spend time, you know, just drawing cards. And, oh, nice. Three timber, okay, perfect. All right, so now Jen's done her two actions. But here's the first twist. Remember, Jen is the yard master. Whoever is the yard master gets to take three actions on their turn. So, um, and when you do, when, so Jen's gonna use her yard master. Now you don't have a choice. You might think you could hold on to this for later, but you can't. You have to use it, use it or lose it, basically. So Jen is definitely gonna use the yard master. And when she uses it, she gets a third action and then she hands this to the left. So it'll move on to the next player. So it comes over here to me. 
And Jen, for her third action, is gonna take these three timber and load them into this timber car, and that just scored her three points. All right, and now at the end of her turn, she's got a hand of two left over. What's the new card that came out? It's a one timber, all right. And now it's my turn. Now, you notice when Jen handed me the Yardmaster, it came over to me, um, Yardmaster face down. And basically at the end of my turn, I will flip this face up so that on my next turn, I will get three turns. This is the way it works specifically in a two player game. With three or four, it just moves to the next player, they get three turns. It moves to the next player, they get three turns. It moves to the next player, they get three turns, and it just goes around really quick. So everybody's constantly um, you know, getting three turns you know, on a fairly regular basis. But in the two-player game, it only activates every other turn. So I don't get to use it now, but I'll get to use it later. Okay. So it's my turn, and I've got one card. And Tula, get down from there. She smells the quiche. Okay. And um, let's see here. I can't get any of these cards with my one coal, so I think I'll... Well, not... Ooh. I think well, the first thing I'll do is I will draw a cargo. And now when you draw a cargo, you could either draw a blind from the draw deck like we've been doing, or you can draw from the discard pile. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna draw from the discard pile and take one of those timbers that Jen had used. And now, for my second action, because my this hasn't activated yet, I only get two actions, I'm gonna use this timber to get this one point timber car. And I have just scored my second point, easy peasy. And, oh wow, look at that, one point timber, ahoy. Now I swear, I shuffled these things like crazy. So this is just a random distribution, but you know, there's only um, values one through four and there's only four colors. So you're gonna see a lot of repeats like that. Anyway, so that was my turn. And now at the end of my turn, again, this is only a two player game, I can flip this over so that on my next turn, I'll have three actions. Okay, back to Jen. And I think she's gonna repeat the, uh, the fortune that fell upon me. She, her first of her two actions, she's gonna draw that same timber from the discard pile. And then her second action, she is gonna load that timber onto this one point timber card. And boom, she's just scored another point. And okay, now there's a two, four, and a four. Okay, so those are Jen's two actions, really simple. Back to me, okay. Now then, I've got one coal. I'd like to get, there's a two or a four. But I, um, right now, with one coal, I can't do anything. Now, interesting. What I could do is, <clears throat> I could spend two actions drawing two timber back, right? So I'd, I, you know, two actions, I'd have two timber. They don't help me anything. But then, if I had the two for one timber, if I swapped to get that, then I'd have a coal and timber. But that would take me all three of my actions, and I wouldn't actually get to grab a car. So instead, let's cross our fingers. I have no idea what I'm going to draw here. Livestock. Oh, that's lame. All right. Well, that wasn't too terribly exciting. See, I've got two more actions because I got the Yardmaster. And I didn't really get anything particularly good. Now, do I hedge my bets and just go ahead and grab the two timbers so that on the following turn, I... Yeah, I think so. I'm not going to take any chances because who knows what I'm going to get. So I'll just, my second and third action, I grab these two timber. And now on my next turn, I'll swap to get the exchange rate and I'll be able to use those two timber for something. All right, and so uh, those are my three actions. Yardmaster comes back over to Jen, and now it's her turn. She's got one coal. Let's see, first she's gonna draw. Let's see what she gets. <gasps> Sweep the yard. Okay, Jen has gotten an event card. And what that means is, <clears throat> the event cards, you know, they, they, uh, they contribute to your hand size, which is seven, and you can use them for free at any time of your turn. And so whenever Jen wants, she could sweep the yard, which means if she doesn't like any of these, she can remove one, two, or all three of these, just kick them out of the game, and draw new ones so she could maybe get something that matches her a little bit better. So I think she's gonna hold on to this for maybe later. So she, she's not gonna use it right away, and instead she's gonna draw another card. Let's see what else she gets. A timber, okay. So that was her turn, now at the end of her turn, she's got her Yardmaster again. Now back to me, my first action, I will swap. I'll get the exchange rate for timber. And now for my second action, I will exchange these two timber, I'll say these are, I'm exchanging them for coal, plus my other coal gives me two coal in total, which I will use to grab this two point coal car. I've seen a new one comes out, it's another timber. Mm. All right, now, remember I have to discard these cards and I can discard them in any order I want. And the thing is, another one point timber just came up, so I do not want to discard like this and put these timbers on top, because that means Jen will have access to quick timber and she can grab another one pointer. So I'm gonna bury those underneath the coal. All right. 
Now, unbeknownst to me, Jen actually has a timber, so she didn't even need that anyway, but I don't know that. So, that was my uh, turn. I did a swap, and then I got a two-point car, and a new one came out. Now, here's the interesting thing. This is where the game gets really interesting. You'd think, oh, well, I got a two-pointer. I'll just go ahead and attach it, and now I've got four points. It's not that simple. Because whenever you attach a, a loaded up car to your engine, it has to match the most recent card you played. Which means it either has to be the same color or the same number. So you can see originally I did a one point red and that's why my one point green matched because they're both ones. Now this is a two blue. It does not match either color or number. And so, I cannot attach it and I can't score these points. So what do I do? I put it over here in my own personal yard where I can start, you know, I can have loaded up cars. I could get a big group of these loaded up and over time, I will try to get them put, you know, connected so I can actually score them. And that's a big, big part of this game. It's really where most of the strategy comes in. Do you go for quick points? Do you always just go for things that'll, so you can score points immediately? Or do you like go for big points? You know, if I get this four point, coal car, and I put them both over here, the nice thing is that when I eventually put, when, when say a four gets put out here, or a blue gets put out here, I could put both of them onto the um, onto the, my existing engine instantly, because it doesn't take an action to move something out of your personal yard onto your engine. But you've just got to get the right combinations. So now that I've got this in storage, I'm always going to be looking either for a blue card I could put here, or for a number two, so I could pull this out of storage and store it. All right, <clears throat> so anyway, those are my two turns. I did the swap and then I got the card and now it's Jen's turn again and hey she gets three actions now and you know what I think I'm gonna stop right there because that's it that you know this game is super fast it's super quick playing and it's all about that trade-off between you know short-term point grabs and long-term storage to try and get big combo moves and if you'd like to watch a little bit of that you can hit the button that's on screen or you'll know, follow the show notes for an extended playthrough and you know maybe uh, well heck I guess I think I'm gonna try and actually finish this game if I can you can hit the other button or go to final thoughts your choice in five four three two one